Hello, um, this is my latest uh, project. Um, it's a preamplifier, a stereo preamplifier project uh, using a programmable volume control chip, which is the uh, Texas Instruments PGA 2311 stereo uh, volume control chip. And it's controlled by a PIC micro, which is here. Uh, with software written in C. Um, it's very low distortion, very high quality and used in a lot of commercial uh, hi-fi equipment uh, into the thousands of pounds so I'm expecting it to sound pretty good provided I get the PCB layout um, correct because um, grounds, uh, analog grounds and digital grounds shouldn't uh, be mixed uh, together. Um, so uh, I'll just walk you around the rest of the design. Uh, we've got an OLED display um, to give feedback to the user on what's happening um, in terms of which input is selected, uh, what the volume is. Uh, it reads out in decibels. So it goes from minus 95 to plus 28 decibels. So zero on here would mean that the input and the output were exactly the same uh, amplitude. Um, so it's attenuating most of the time uh, but amplifying once we go beyond um, 1 dB, uh, 0 dB. Um, so this is a rotary encoder to adjust the um, volume. We also have uh, an infrared uh, sensor here which is programmed to uh, respond to RC5 protocol which is the Philips um, designed remote control protocol uh, probably about 30 years ago now maybe 40 but still uh, very widely used um, I'll just demonstrate that um, we've got a uh, volume up here and a volume down button so uh, as you can see I'm pressing the volume up and the volume on the OLED display is going up and then it's going down and I can display that on the oscilloscope too. Um, these switches allow you to select different inputs so it defaults at power up to um, what I'm calling stream um, so that would be like a Sonos input um, CD obviously self-explanatory um, Tuner, does anyone use that anymore? I don't know. I do. Uh, then there's uh, Phono, which is popular now, again. Uh, so that's for vinyl turntables. Uh, and then we have a DAC input as well. So um, quite a few inputs, but I might add a few more. And uh, I think I'll probably add a, a balance control as well so that you can change the left and right um, position of the stereo image. Um, the only other thing I need to show is the operation of the mute button here. So um, I'll just press mute and what will happen is the display on the OLED will go to zero and the bar graph will shoot down quite quickly. If I just um, reset that and take that back up again. I'll show you the same thing on the oscilloscope, which is just monitoring uh, I think the left hand channel actually. Um, so we're going up. The yellow trace is the output, the blue trace is the input. So I'll just hit the mute button now. So we're muted. So, um, interesting project. I've learned a lot uh, in doing it. Um, and um, I'll make a fully fledged prototype soon. And uh, I'll put up another video when that's finished so you can have a look. And um, uh, hope you like the project. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.